that good. What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Just thought I'd start the video kind of funny. Probably not the safest thing to do, but I did it. As you can see, we got the old girl right here. Let's open it up real quick and see what she looks like in there. Oh yeah, I got the van. She's looking nice. But I am still doing some camping on the ice. I already filmed one video and I'm starting this video because tonight it's supposed to get down below zero. It's supposed to be like negative eight degrees. And I decided it'd be a great idea to try to camp on the ice in my van. That's right, camp on there. And for the remaining of the day, we're gonna do some fishing because we are on a lake. Uh, do some cooking and like I said sleep in the van and hopefully not die if you guys did not see part one uh, You should click this thing right here and watch part one But let me show you kind of like the base setup that we have so we got the van right here And then we got ice everywhere and we come over here and bam check out the old trailer This is broken wing Luke's trailer. Uh, he converted it into kind of like a mini ice castle for like really cheap It's really cool. So that's what it looks like on the outside and then we got his nice little vehicular right there not as cool as my van but you know it's all right come over here on this side we got some gas we got the generator and then this shack we just set it up and we're gonna use this to uh, kind of use the bathroom in so you're nice and warm when you're taking a number two and we're also gonna cook in there on Luke's Blackstone don't know if that's very sanitary but let me pop it open real quick show you guys what it looks like in there oh yeah there we go so that's what everything looks like on the outside Let's go inside right now because I am absolutely freezing. Whew. All right, so we just made it inside. As you can tell, super cold. I'm fogging up. Um, but let me show you guys Luke's homemade ice castle slash trailer. So we walked in right here. And then obviously right there we got a hole with our boots. Storage on the top there. And there's Luke doing... I don't know what you're doing on that couch. Oh, I'm just editing. Okay, it's a little sus, but bam, we got a TV, we got the finna nut, we got a charging station, a bunch of random stuff that just does not look good. We got the Xbox, that's kind of fun. Uh, we have four holes, and then more storage on top, some cool lights on top. This is the furnace that keeps us nice and warm. That right there, we got the thermostat. We're starting to fog up a little bit. We got this cool little sticker that says Mountain Dew Me, so that's lit. And uh, yeah, just a ball of random stuff right here. Whew, it is super cold outside. Like I'm still de right now. I have no clue how this is gonna go tonight sleeping inside of the van. I do have my heater and I have some ventilation systems in there so I won't die of carbon monoxide poisoning. But I do think the plan as of right now is we're gonna sit here, do a little bit of fishing, then we're gonna set up Luke's new Blackstone, do a little bit of cooking, fish some more inside here, and then at nighttime, I'm gonna go over to the van, set that up, and try to not die, okay? That's the main thing. You don't want the host of Mindak Outdoors to die tonight. Please pray for me. As of right now, that's gonna be the plan. Uh, make sure to hit the like button on this video. And also, I mean, obviously I wanted to do more fishing and more activities inside the van, but I really can't, okay? I mean, there's no holes in the van, so I can't really physically fish in it. And I, I mean, it'd be kind of pointless to sit in there and not fish all day. Like what, what would I literally do? So that's why I'm gonna chill in here and do the fishing portion in here, and then the sleeping part inside of there in the sub sub-zero degree weather. Um, and then I might cook something in the morning tomorrow, but I have no clue. We're going to see how I feel after this weather, but we're going to start fishing. You guys stay tuned. It's going to be a good one. You wouldn't. Stop, dude. You wouldn't, would you? Yeah, we need to chill on these lights. Oh, there's a big fish. There's a big fish on you. you. There's a big fish on you. Yes. On my bobber? Yes. On your bobber. Okay. He, he has it. He definitely has it. My line is frozen. I think he has it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it does, I think. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, I'll just start to film an intro and Luke's already hooked up. It's a decent size for sure. I think so. Oh, it is, dude. Really? Yeah. You might have to grab it. You want me to grab it? You yeah. could, but. Yeah, you can see his head, though, so this is nice. Not bad, dude. Not bad, dude. Look at that, bro. We were literally just to start filming again, or I was gonna film like an intro, and Luke, I'm like, Luke, there's something on your minnow. I looked on the live scope, and bam. Look that's how a, white, look how white that yeah, tip is. Yeah, that's a big one, dude. Yeah, here's your fish, bud. 
19 and a half. Nice fish, though. All right, guys. So as I was going to say before we got interrupted by that 19-inch walleye, I'm going to start fishing. I'm using just a simple dead stick, two split shots on top, a red circle hook, and the Frostbite Royal Flush. You just pretty much drop this bad boy down there, let the minnow do the work for you, and then when you see a fish come in and take it, set the hook, reel in a big one. Hopefully we can get some for you guys. All right, boys, the rattle reel is just going off. Luke's getting the Blackstone ready for cooking tonight. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. Got him. Got something here, it's running at me. Perch, walleye, a little walleye. Look at that. Right in the schnaz. Look at that little guy right there. Beautiful red lake walleye. We're we'll gonna let this guy grow. Uh, I'm gonna reset this. Like I said, Luke's preparing the Blackstone because we're gonna have an awesome dinner tonight that you guys are gonna see. Uh, in the meantime, we're just gonna try to catch some fish. Bro, something's like right on the little bit. Oh, dude, it's yours. It's yours. Do you want it? Oh, you want it? No, you catch it. You catch it. Oh, that's a nice mark, dude. Does it, yeah, it feel you, good? Kind of. You should maybe put oh. your dude soon. I literally was just... It's a decent fish. It I fish. was literally just resetting that rattle rattle line. Looks like there's a fish on you. I know. And, uh, yeah, he's hooked up now. I told him, I told him to take it. it. Yeah, I'll grab it. Oh, yeah. That would have been your under, maybe. Yeah, I should have been my, uh, Perfect. <laughs> Dang it. That would have been a perfect under, bro. Hopefully we'll catch some more. That's all right, bro. <coughs> Lucas, there's his fish. This would have been a perfect under. But I need to catch my under. I'd like to. Awesome, gorgeous Red Lake walleye. Back in. Deuces. Down the hatch. Well, it's starting to fire up, Luke. Yeah, already. It's 544, dude. That is good to see. That's awesome. Well, guys, one thing that's not good about this enclosed trailer is that it's so insulated. You have, like, no cell reception in here. We have a nice TV here. But if you don't have a signal or, like, sell your reception, it's kind of hard to airplay. Like, the airplay has not been working. So, <laughs> what we did, we were trying to airplay our phones straight to the Apple TV. That didn't work. So then what I had to do was use my hotspot, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't connect to the Apple TV either. So, hotspotted the laptop to the Apple TV, and finally it works, and now we have football and fishing. It's not the best quality, but, I mean, we got some football right there. The shack in a nut and your live scope so i'm not going to complain about fishing and watching football and then luke's still doing blackstone stuff so we're going to have food here very soon then we're going to have food in the mix of everything i just said stay tuned oh baby Bougie. we got them fries in there we got them fries we got them fries that was really horrible i don't know what that was i'm sorry well, it's been a little bit, and the fishing's been slow. The Apple TV stopped working, so we're gonna have to watch the Vikings play tonight on my phone. Uh, but the Blackstone's ready, so we started some fries in little, the little toaster oven, but let's go put some burgers on the Blackstone. Bro, I don't know what dance move out. <laughs> Yo, how are you gonna expose me like that? All right, Daddy, let's go out into the cold. Sheesh! Watch your step, son. Oh, it's so cold. It'd be a shame if we had a heated kitchen. Oh, wait. Oh, we do. We do have a heated kitchen. Sheesh. Look at this, boys. We got the old buddy heater in here. Luke's new Blackstone and some burgies. I remember syrup sandwiches and crab allowances. We got the burgers here, and we're about to throw these things on here. This is hopefully going to be delicious. Okay, that's hot. Will it fit them all? <laughs> wait, 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 how many burgers do we eat tonight, boy? What? Damn, boy! Shall we shut this? Sure. Okay, we'll be back in two hours. I'm just kidding. There we go. What are the odds? I went to go check the fries. Looks like I had a fish on me. Ooh, it's my under, baby. Is it? It might be my under. 
Ah. Ooh, that might be my under. Literally, we're waiting for the burgers to get done. I went to go check on the fries. Looks like there is a mark on you. Sure enough, there was. Yeah, that's my under for sure, boys. Let's go. Walleyes and burgers and football? Can't complain. Woo, daddy! Oh my gosh. Those look so freaking good, dude. I did just taste one and it is good. Well, I just caught that fish and I ran out here just in time to watch Luke put some cheese on here. We got some Kobe Jack. Yes, sir. Cheeseburgies on the ice on the Blackstone next to a Yeti. Come on, man, you're flexing. I put the cheese on the clap. Oh, yeah, baby. Well, a shout out to my guy, Luke, for chefing it up on the new Blackstone that I just got. Got the fries. Thank you. Here? They're good. They can use some salt, though. If you want to put salt on yours, you could. The fries? Mm hmm. But, that's did you, good. Did you try burger or not yet? No, I'm excited. I'm about to try a burger here. We've been thinking about these literally since we got up this morning at like 8 a.m. I'm pumped. Absolute gas. Are they actually good? Yeah. Really good. I'm going to pull up the Vikings game right now. We're going to sit here, eat some food. Hopefully a rattle reel goes off or something. You guys want to stay tuned. Bro, I can't believe you blood stained my I, bro. You owe dude, me a hundred bucks. I didn't see it do that. So I was like, oh, oh, oh. Why did he stop? Why did he stop? Shell though. Oh, I'm stuck on the ice. We love that. That's why. Got him. There we go. Eating burgers. Catching tiny little walleyes. We're seeing them start the roll here, and this is what happened last night. We marked a bunch, and then around like eight o'clock, line alarm, rattle reel, our lines, like it just started going off. So that could be what's about to happen. Line alone, bobbers, augers, nets, gilly nets, gilly suits, blinds. Are you sure? All right. After ten bazillion years of getting uh. The camera set up. Fish is probably gonna be gone, so we love that. God. There we go, boys. Another rattle reel fish. I was just marking them on the old live scope. We just had to reopen some holes. Our holes are starting to freeze over and uh, they were like six six to four inch holes. Not ideal, so re-drilled them, reset lines. Literally, this is down for probably, I just set this, I mean, literally probably like three minutes ago, so. The fish are gonna start biting here, boys. It might get hot and heavy. No, it shall, it shall. Oh, no, he didn't want the smoke. Come on, you want the big daddy, don't you? Oh, look at him chase It's following this thing. you. Oh, he just tapped it so hard. Yeah, it did. Jeez, nice. dude. He freaking clapped that thing. Was that on it? What do you oh. have on it? Just a dead stick, but I put a big old minnow on. That's a nice wallet. You want help? Nah, I got it. Hey, chill, my guy. Chill. Sheesh. Nice fish. That is a nice fish. We love that. These fish are about to go off again, hopefully. I, I literally mine. just caught that other one, so. Oh, Cheers, boys. What is it? It's Outdoors Limited, okay? Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> Shouts to you guys. Shout out to Outdoors <laughs> Limited, okay? Every night, baby. Every night. No, not last night. Chill. Every night. Chill. Hey guys, my rattle reel is going off. Shall I set this up for 10 years and miss the fish? Okay, John's rattle reel is going off again. 
Oh, it's getting after it. Now you miss it. Got him. Nice. Feels like a walleye. Smaller guy. Yep. What another fish? Dude, the rattle reel is absolutely cracked tonight. Another Red Lake walleye, boys. Going back down to the resource. See you later, boy. All right, guys, we got another fish on the rattle reel. I was checking some fish that were de-thawing, and it does feel like there's still a fish right here. Rattle reel's been going off tonight. Might have just dropped it. Nope, there he is. He was running at me. Golly, sheesh, chill. Chill. Dude, cookie cutters tonight, Luke. Cookie cutters. This one's actually a little bigger. This would be a good eater if we were keeping fish to eat. All right, nice little fish going back down again. See you later, buddy. Was that a better release for you? Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'll start doing that. Later. Well, guys, we have not had much action since the rattle reels. The dead stick bite on our normal rods were just not doing it. Even on the line alarms, nothing was having it, just the rattle reel. But that's okay, I got to reel and fish, Luke. Not so much. But I am kind of dreading this moment. It's about that time where I head on over to the van and go to sleep. I am tired, so I don't even care if it's like negative 50 out. Um, I should just fall asleep just like that. So we'll see how this goes. I'll show you guys my setup once we get over to the van. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it is pretty cold. We just made it to the van and I started the heater already just to kind of get it warmed up in here so it's not completely miserable. But uh, yeah, it's still pretty cold. So I got my Buddy Flex right there and then I put the propane tank up there and this is kind of the vibe we got going tonight. All right, nothing too crazy. Just a lot of open space right here because I didn't want to burn anything, obviously. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to burn this floor or if this is going to heat this up too much. I don't know. We're taking a chance here. I'm going to let it warm up, and then before I go to bed tonight, I'm going to open this hatch right here, and I can turn on my fan, and it's going to blow air out, so I'm not going to die of carbon monoxide poisoning, which is ideal. Oh. <sighs> Oh. oh, yeah, this may be a long night. I have no clue how this is going to go. It is pretty gosh darn cold in here. Okay, well, it's not as cold enough as I thought. I thought I'd be able to see my breath, but I am freaking tired, guys. I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, you know, if I wake up in the middle of the night, I'll film a little uh, midday update or mid sleep update. But other than that, my plan is to sleep and sleep hard, which shouldn't be a problem because I'm super tired and then just do it all at once and wake up in the morning and be done with it. This is going to be miserable. It's supposed to get down to like negative eight degrees. And one thing I'm already regretting about this, as you can see, my windows are already frosted up like really bad. I wish I had like little styrofoam insulation things to put on here so it would help keep the heat in here. Unfortunately, I don't have that. So rest in peace, drop some comments down below. Let me know if you van camp and give me some tips about winter van camping because I'm a huge noob at it. I just thought I would try it for the very first time and this very well could be my last time because I don't know, I'm a little nervous, but I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. 3.28 a.m. Well, guys, it uh, I have no clue what time it is. I think it's about like 4, 4 or 3 a.m. I don't know. I don't even know where my phone's at, but I woke up and I decided to bust out the camera because this is pretty miserable right now. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely a lot colder than it was when I last updated you guys. 
but yeah this is brutal my heater is still running though which is good i mean as long as that's going we shouldn't have a problem but i might take it and move the propane tank where the actual heater is and then put this right here I, is that a good idea i probably shouldn't do that this is what i i don't know i think that'd be bad oh my god dude this is so brutal absolutely freaking brutal and knowing that luke is inside the trailer right now probably nice and warm and he's honestly probably caught a lot of fish i have no clue if he's caught any fish yet but uh it makes me jealous knowing that he's in there i'm gonna try to bear through like two more hours of this and then hopefully the sun's up when i wake up and i can get going the following day well good morning guys it is wow really freaking cold oh my god Oh, that's why. That's that's not good. Don't you just love it when you wake up and your heater's not running? That is not good. Well, I just woke up, and to see that my heater's not on, that is obviously not ideal. I have no clue if I ran out of propane or what the deal is, but after I gave you guys an update last night, I just pretty much fell asleep. Put my I put my sweatshirt back on, fell asleep, and then now I'm here. I didn't wake up in between then, so that's good. I have no clue what time it is. I think I'm gonna go inside the shack and warm up and see what looks doing and get the day started. But we made it, we're alive. Was it worth it? I don't know. How was your night? Well, I was about to ask you the same question. Uh, that My night did not go well. I was extremely cold the whole night. And I woke up, my heater was turned off. So, we love that. How was yours? Well, where do I start? First, a golden eye wrapped up the rattle reel lines and I had to cut those off and put them in the garbage. So now I have to reset all these lines. Well, just two, but still. Then, when I woke up to that, the heater was off and it was about 40 degrees in here. So probably colder than your van. And I couldn't get that to work, so I had to take the heater apart at 3 a.m. and uh, clean the burner with a toothbrush, my toothbrush. So the last time I'm brushing my teeth was uh, last night at 3 a.m. or this morning at 3 a.m. And then I had to put that back together, and then it's now warm in here. But that took about an hour and a half. So my night wasn't good, to be honest. This was probably the worst night since we've been out here. Well, that is uh, Luke's night for you. It kind of sounds like both of our nights did not go very well, but it does sound like Luke had to do more work last night. He had to take apart the whole heater at 3 a.m. when it was absolutely freezing in here, clean some stuff. God forbid he doesn't have a toothbrush anymore. But we know we made it through the night. It's the next day, we're gonna reset some lines. We're gonna make some pizza rolls for breakfast. We had this great idea. We're gonna make an awesome breakfast on the Blackstone. We brought bacon, we brought hash browns, and we brought eggs, but like, we got a couple things that botched. Number one, we kept the eggs outside and they froze. So I don't, I don't know what the strat was. We need a refrigerator in here, I guess. And then we're just too lazy too to make the other stuff. So pizza rolls, it is. Look at that. That is a masterpiece. The fact that I fit a whole bag, 50, on like that so perfectly, I deserve a medal or something. All right, guys, check out the old pizza rolls. They're finally done. I'm gonna burn the absolute crap on my mouth here, but it's all for you guys. Best breakfast after sleeping in a van with no heat. Love that. Mmm. Oh. I mean, they're really good, but you got, I, I swear to God, pizza rolls the most, even. They're get done, and you want to eat them right away. But these are one of the things that, like, you were supposed to let cool. Nobody does that. They just grab these right away and start burning taste buds off their tongue. Like, that's how it always happens. Oh, my goodness gracious. It is a beautiful day out here. This is the first beautiful day that we've had on red lake like this whole entire year but that's where we're gonna wrap up today's video 
had an awesome time camping on the ice. We did some cooking, we did some fishing, we did some camping in the van, just a bunch of different things. And drop a comment down below and let me know if you enjoyed today's video. I'm super, super sorry about the lack of van content. That's my fault. I, I, bringing it out here, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if I was gonna be able to film much out of it. I don't know, I wanna figure out a more, a better, a better way to incorporate the van on the ice. This wasn't gonna be completely the last time you see it on the ice. It's just, I, I need to find a way to catch fish out of it or I need to pick a day where it's like this, where it's gonna be like 40, 30 degrees outside and not absolutely cold where my holes are just freezing up. You guys should also let me know where do you wanna see me go next? I've done two trips to Red Lake so far and there's so many more awesome fisheries around the US. I would just want to hear what you guys want to see. Do you want to see me do lake trout in Fort Peck? Do you want to see me do perch on Devil's Lake or Cascade? Like, drop those comments down below as well. And I hope you guys have an awesome holidays. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.